Welcome to another episode of Locked In. This episode's gonna be on how to make the ultimate beater, bar, lockup, rust bucket bike ever. A lot of you might be thinking, well, why do I need a beater bike? Think about it. You probably own a few bikes, and would you really want to get any of them stolen? Probably not. So this is gonna be going over basically simple steps to get a cheap bike, make it look ugly so no one wants to steal it, but the main thing is you want it to be reliable and preferably unstealable or undesirable to thieves. First, what you're gonna need is a cheap ass bike. Preferably steal and you'll find out why soon. Now I went with a single speed. I'm pretty sure this is a pure fix or some kind of cheap steel fixed gear brand. I got the whole bike for 40 bucks and it's a perfect platform for a beater build. The only things you really want to have that are decent on the bike are probably the tires just so you don't get punctures or flats randomly when you're riding. Now to make the ultimate beater you have to make it look ugly. This is why you want a steel bike because you can make it look rusty. That's what I did with my build. The things to do this are paint stripper which you can get in this aerosol can. Make sure you have gloves as well as something to scrape the paint off. Now remember this is your beater build, so you can ding this thing up all you want. Use a screwdriver or whatever you want to strip the paint off. And most importantly, something to promote rust in the bike. Now if you're of age, you want to get the most hipster beer you can to help promote rust so that it rusts quicker and looks awful sooner. Now if you see my part one and two paint videos, you know how to do this process, but basically all you're gonna do is take your wheels and everything off the bike, but remember it's your beater, so if you get stripper on some other parts, it doesn't really matter. Spray it all over the frame and let the chemical work. Now look at the back of your can, it's probably gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes to get the desired effect where you see the paint starting to literally pull off the frame. After that, you're gonna wanna scrape it all off. Remember, it's your beater, so who cares? Next, you're gonna wanna kill the chemical reaction. Now, you can use water, but being in California and being in a drought, I decided to use a Paps Blue Ribbon. Now, if you do have water in your state, feel free to use that. Also, if you aren't of age and can't buy beer for yourself, you can also use rice vinegar, pee, no joke, it'll work, wheel cleaner, or even lemon juice, anything highly acidic. That'll basically promote the rust to happen sooner to where in a few days you'll probably see a decent amount of rust, giving you that rat rod, ultimate beater, lockup bike look that you want. But no one's gonna know that it rides smooth and is taken care of. Now all you're gonna do is reassemble the bike and sit and watch the rust happen. Now don't forget to watch my other video on how to make his cheap DIY saddle chain lock so you keep your seats safe on your lockup bike, as well as my other video on how to make a cheap DIY chain lock for your lockup bike. Both inexpensive and an easy way to have a bike you can leave at the gym, the bar, friend's house, the park, outside, the beach, anywhere. And if it does get stolen, at least it's the cheapest bike you probably own, so it won't hurt as bad. So thanks for watching this episode of How to Build the Ultimate Beater. Make sure to subscribe, like my Facebook page, links for all the videos and anything I mentioned are all in the description. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in. And this is why you don't ride a bike.